Hi, I'm Dr. Luke Bucci, and welcome to HealthView. So, what's HealthView, you might be asking? Well, I guess the best way to describe it is, it's a series of short video visits where I'll be discussing health and nutrition issues a lot of us encounter in our daily, and let's face it, pretty hectic lives. That's my area of expertise, and since 1995, I've worked closely with Shift Nutrition to develop products and practices that people, like you and I, can really use to benefit our busy days and nights. So today, we'll be looking at some easy ways you can change things up a little. And I know you'll feel better if you try some of them. Okay, let's get started. This month's theme is about mind and mood. And I have a couple of essential nutrients that'll help your mind and mood out, along with something else that kind of goes downhill as we age. So I want to focus on those three kinds of nutrients. So first, let's start with fish oil. Fish oil is probably the premier supplement for delivering omega-3 fatty acids to your diet. And having enough omega-3s is a super important thing for your brain. Your brain is loaded with fat. In fact, I think it's safe to say that we're all fatheads. And that's, that's a fact. So don't feel too bad about that. Uh, in fact, your brain is loaded with DHA, which is one of the key omega-3 fatty acids. It is uh, the most important um, fatty acid that's in your brain. And it's there for a good reason. It keeps your brain cell membranes, all the different cell types, especially neurons, uh, make, keeps them running better. And what that means is that they transmit their impulses and receive impulses better. That means you do everything your brain is supposed to do a little better. Think, remember, and feel. In other words, mood. In fact, uh, fish oils have been shown to help improve mood in people that have uh, mood problems and that would like to have a better mood. Now, the key with fish oil is to make sure you, that it has DHA, and EPA also is helpful, but really the DHA is important. Now, fish oil is the best way, in terms of a dietary supplement, to get a lot of DHA into your diet. Yes, you can eat fish. That's great. But you have to eat the right kind of fish to get the right kind of omega-3s. You need to eat the fish that, with colored flesh, is the way I look at it, such as salmon and sardines and anchovies and herring and even some tuna, although that's kind of low in total fat. It's high in the omega-3 fats. So in other words, you have, to, if you, you have to eat the right kind of fish to get omega-3s into your diet. Fried catfish does not count. Another thing about omega-3 oil in soft gels is that it is refined. Fish oil is purified to the point where you get just the fish oil, just the omega-3s, just what your body wants. Now, sometimes fish oil can come back on some people. In other words, you take a fish oil capsule or soft gel and you have a, a burping problem or it kind of makes you a little queasy or, or stomach upset. Well, one way to prevent that is to enteric coat the soft gel so that it doesn't immediately dissolve in your stomach. And that way, it's, it's released in your small intestine where it won't come back on you and make you burp. Taking omega-3 fatty acids is, I think, probably one of the top three things that we're missing in our diet. And uh, actually, many experts now are agreeing that taking fish oil dietary supplements in terms of soft gels is a better way to get your omega-3s even than eating fish. Fish oils are also important in addition to helping your cells transmit the nerve impulses. It, they're also important to help keep your nerve cells safe and protected. And that means that they can continue to maintain your memory. They can continue to maintain your cognitive functions like thinking, and figuring things out, analyzing, and, and in addition to the mood, so that the fish oil works on many different levels to help protect your brain and to keep your memory, keep your mental functions going. Now, onto DHEA and your brain. As we age, over the age of 40, DHEA levels in the bloodstream and in the tissue start to decrease. Now, why is that important for your brain? Well, because there are DHEA receptors on your neurons, certain neurons, nerve cells, and they directly influence your mood. 
So if you have less DHEA, you have more crankiness. You just have a, a fouler mood. That's just the way it goes. So DHEA does contribute to your mood. Also, DHEA helps protect your nerve cells. One of the things it does when it fits on receptors in nerve cells is to make sure your neurons are keeping themselves happy is the simplest way to say it. So if you know that you have low DHEA levels or if you feel like you're cranky or feel like your mood could use a lift and you're over 40, then consider DHEA. Just one pill a day is all it takes. Now about vitamin D and your brain. Okay, we all know that vitamin D is essential for absorbing calcium and keeping your bone mass. So what is the story about vitamin D and your brain? Well, actually, all you have to do is just look at the seasons. Yep, look at summer, look at winter. Look at uh, people are feeling better in the summer, the sun's out, which is when your body is making vitamin D if you're in the sun. And in the winter time, most people get the blues, you get the winter blahs, your mood is in the dumps. Well, that's because your vitamin D levels are going down in the winter compared to the summer. And yes, there are receptors in your nerve cells and in your brain for vitamin D. And yes, they do affect your mood. Uh, it's supposed to be like that. So in other words, what that is, is nature's way of telling you that you need more vitamin D. Getting enough vitamin D in the diet is not easy. Even drinking fortified milk, which has vitamin D added to it, is just not enough unless you drink maybe you know, four gallons a day to reach healthy blood levels of vitamin D. And I don't think any of us are going to want to drink four gallons of milk a day. And again, that brings us back to dietary supplements. In fact, now experts universally agree that the best way to get vitamin D is through dietary supplements. In addition to your mood, vitamin D also can help maintain your mental functions like cognition and memory. Again, people with lower levels of vitamin D, you know, regardless of the season, just don't have as the same memory recall they used to have. They just don't have the same brain speed as people with higher levels of vitamin D in their blood. So the key thing is to keep the vitamin D levels in your blood in the right range. And that is a, a number that is constantly going up and up. So in other words, uh, the recommended amount of vitamin D in supplements to get there is up to 2,000 IUs per day now. Of course, Schiff has a 2,000 IU per tablet vitamin D3 product, and we firmly believe the natural form of vitamin D, which is vitamin D3, is the best form. It's better absorbed. It just works better in the body because that, that's what the body is looking for. The vitamin D2, which is a synthetic form of vitamin D, will work, but it is just not as efficient. And vitamin D3, being the natural form, is easily recognized and utilized by the body. So it just makes sense to stick with vitamin D3. Interestingly, vitamin D2 is what's being added to dairy products more than vitamin D3. So that's why the major food sources of vitamin D are, are not the natural form. Kind of doesn't make sense, does it? But supplements can make sure you get the natural vitamin D3, which is more important for maintaining your brain function, and your mood. Well, that wraps up this segment, but hopefully it's just the beginning for you because when you try out some of these tips, I think it'll be the start of a healthy and strong approach to living. And what's great is none of us have to do this alone. For more information about any of the products I've talked about today, simply use the product search toolbar at the top of this page because, hey, we can all use a little help. Till next time, I'm Dr. Luke with HealthView. Here's to your health.